Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Now this is the second part of Mark Barton's session from our recent winter camp. Now in the first session he dealt mainly with knee strikes, which you can see here. Um, and in this part of the class he showed us some elbow strikes and how he felt they could be incorporated into common Aikido techniques. Now it's only a short clip and towards the end he uh, incorporates some of the knee strikes from the earlier part of the class as well. I think this is really useful and I think it really highlights how important it is to take things from anywhere you can. It doesn't matter what martial art it is, if it's useful for your budo, if it, you think it can improve your technique, then why not add it in? As usual, if you found this useful, smash all the stuff below, consider subscribing, and thank you so much for watching. Okay, we'll, we'll just do a couple of elbows because since I've been studying Aikido, I've seen a, a lot of openings where, where I think to myself, oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm taking this position off now, but I'm just missing this something. That, um, why wouldn't you? You see that opening now. Why, why wouldn't you just pop it in, you know? So um, we'll just do some basic elbow strikes. And dead simple about elbows is you always got to make sure you're up close enough with an elbow because if you miss, you're open and you're off balance. So, but with an elbow, basically, again, you, you need to be creating that point. So this is pulled right in and, and you're striking through, aiming to get that, that razor blade point there onto its target. And it does a lot of damage. You can break bones with that. You, you can shatter somebody's eye socket or anything with it. It's, if you get them on the temple, you can kill them. It's, it's a very formidable weapon. And... When you, when you are putting an elbow in, it's always a good idea to have this other guard coming up because usually when you're fighting with elbows, you're up close. And if you can reach them with, the, with your elbow, they can reach you with theirs. And if you've got that up there and they go to hit you with their elbow, you've got that. And it's if you're out there and you're not tensed up properly, you can hit yourself when their elbow hits your hand. So I always try and keep it close. And I'm looking on either side and striking with that. So this this hand's always up. So, uh, Jason. So, um, I think last time we did a spear block from a, from an open-handed one, and that that's my general spear block going in from a a, a haymaker. And your head should go down and block inside of that as you're doing it. Because if you're up, it, it can still come over the top and clip you in the ear. So, so, you, so your head, head's down. I've put all that into there. Now from there, I can very easily strike him with an elbow from there. You see my hands right in front of my face as well. I'm just stopping just in case that tries to come over. I've got that. Bang. Basically, I, I would do that in one movement. I wouldn't break it down like that. So, I don't know. That's, up, that's already going in as part of my spear block. And this here is striking just at the base of your bicep there. Yeah. So, that's that one from there. Uh, just guards up just 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 put your guards up for a sec so if you are fighting with elbows and you're coming in and you're trying to slip inside like that you're trying to slip inside and land that elbow um there's a there's a nice little back elbow if you miss that you twist from here and you can always take the knee out as you're coming in but twist and pivot and finish off with the back elbow from there no. Bang, he's blocked it. Twist, finish off with a back elbow. So, step through. I've missed. Take his knee out. Bang. Okay. 
Not to, for now, maybe just concentrate. We'll concentrate on the one elbow and do it from a haymaker. So if the haymaker's coming in, band. Yeah. This is coming into block. That's coming through afterwards. Like I said, once once you practice this technique a lot of times, it will just be it'll just be one movement. Slipping in with that. But this has got to got to make sure this is as you as you've done that block there. This is back in in front of your face. Okay. This side. Let me give that a shot. Okay, so you've all had a chance to play around with the knees and elbows now. You pro some of you seniors who probably realise how effective they could be and exactly where you could slip them into technique with Aikido. Um, I'll, maybe I'll just do a couple of um, couple of versions of it. So you wanna, Matt? So. Uh, I'll not go through the whole thing with Aikido because my technique's crap. But um, imagine, imagine you've got uh, Kota Gaishi on, right? And you're going through Kota Gaishi and you're stepping through there. Why, would, why wouldn't you just put one of them in? You know, why wouldn't you? Or even slam a knee in there. Um, Kaiten, you, you got them into Kaiten. <laughs> Why, why wouldn't you? I mean, look at that. It's just begging for it, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> so, slip one then in first, throw them over. So, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's heaps more you can think of, um, but yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, so, oh, thanks for listening. Thank you, Russ. Okay. Thank you, Mark.